Welcome to episode 31. Wow. We're in our early 30s. <laughs> Dirty 30s. <laughs> Dirty 30s. <laughs> of F that. Photo chat. So how was your week? <laughs> it was good. Yeah? It was good. Yeah, not too much. I don't think too much happened. What do you mean? Nothing happened. We went to Ikea. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> that was last week, okay? This is the beginning of my week now. We got a new couch. We got a new couch, in case you guys didn't notice. Yeah. Um, I feel like some people are probably going to be like, why didn't you keep the chairs? Because fuck the chairs. They were expensive. Yes. And we looked at chairs, and we were looking at like $150 a chair. Yeah. And then we found this thing. I feel like we when we left the chairs, we were you and I were both like, oh, we like those chairs. It's just how much we're going to have to spend. Yeah. Fuck, okay. Well, we'll check the as-is section just for shits and gigs. Yeah. And we found this fucking couch. Ready? Ready? Oh, you kept the price I tag I kept on. the price tag on this bitch. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. You're going to have to zoom in and post. Yeah. <laughs> just like... 170 bucks. That's pretty... It's actually really comfy. It's half price. Regular 340 Yeah. Which was what we were going to spend on chairs. Yeah. 340 Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so this is pretty nice. I like it. We need yeah. to name the couch. Hank. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first name that came to my head. Who's Hank? So... Okay. <laughs> Do you know a Hank? It's fucking priceless because last night we watched the movie Fatherhood. With, uh, <laughs> what's his name? Oh, this comes up. Hold on. There Thank you go. You. <laughs> uh, oh, God. What's his name? Tom Hanks? No. <laughs> That's the only Hank I can Kevin. think of. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. I almost said Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> the guy no. Uh, fuck, what's his name? I know who you're talking about. The comedian. Yeah. That's Why it. am I blanking on his name? Yeah, I don't know. He's like one of the few comedians that I listen to. Oh, no, I listen to a lot of comedy. My life is comedy. It's a joke. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Yes. Okay. Man. Anyways. Oh, so, um, in the movie, uh, spoiler alert to some people, his his wife dies. Jesus Christ, that's a spoiler <laughs> alert. I needed to give it a more warning than that. It's... <laughs> Spoiler alert, his wife dies. It's like he didn't, he didn't even give them a second to, to like, it's pause. The part of, that's the whole premise of the movie, though. You you know his, his wife dies because he's raising his daughter on his own. Oh, okay. Anyways, his wife's name was Liz. Okay. And then, like, six years down the road, he meets this girl. And her name is Liz. Wow. And he's like, oh, this is kind of awkward, like, so she's like, you could call me another name. And so he's like, Hank. <laughs> I'll call you Hank. <laughs> so it's just prices that like you came up with Hank. This is Hank. Hank. Hank the couch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. And then we posted on our stories because uh, the episode went live or, or was going live. Yeah. We like did all five this minutes. before noon. Yeah. We also had to talk about before we went to <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell Sue yet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we went shooting. Yeah. I haven't edited my photos. The one of the butterfly came out really cool, but it, there's a lot going on, and I wanted to give it kind of like a dreamy-esque look. You know that uh, photographer I was um, showing you? Yes. She edits. Maybe we'll plug her here. It's not an official shout-out, because I haven't reached out to her. Okay. Um, but we'll add her here. I forget her name right now on Instagram, but she edits her florals and macro stuff beautifully like they look like they're from like a fairy tale yeah yeah so i kind of wanted to take that kind of approach it's obviously not going to be as good as hers anyways that's the photo that i got that i like um <laughs> but yeah vanessa was um <laughs> i haven't well, been outside in a long time okay <laughs> so okay first off uh we all know that vanessa is a medical miracle right so <laughs> yes she's had back surgery lung and surgery. lung surgery and ear surgery ear surgery and we're still waiting for brain surgery <laughs> <laughs> what will she do next <laughs> anyway she's got next? a scar on her back i have a couple but i have one yeah that's yeah and 
So it's right up the middle of her back. It's like any people can't like people who are listening can't see, but it's like this big. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe it's about that. Yeah, it's about Yeah, yeah. it's pretty fucking big. Eight inches about Yeah. As big as my dick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was so inappropriate. Oh my god. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, Vanessa's bent over taking pictures and her shirt comes up a little bit and you can see the scar and it like lines up with her butt crack. <laughs> my, so, I want to clarify my butt crack was not hanging out. No, no. It was wasn't not. Hanging out. It was just the scar. <laughs> but you said... Uh, okay. Give them... We'll set the scene a little more. Oh, okay. I'm facing out to water and Chuck is standing behind me <laughs> and we're in this little like alcove of greenery. So it's not somewhere... Where people are walking by frequently. <laughs> and I said, I lifted my shirt a little more. I said, you like my long ass crack? <laughs> and immediately after I said it, a sweet little old woman says, good morning. <laughs> I was not being quiet when I was yelling about my elongated ass crack. <laughs> and... I just turned around mortified and Chuck is like shaking because she's still in the area. We continued to hike and she was around us the whole time and she would like leave immediately when we got there. (laughs) Oh man, it was fucking priceless. It was great. It was great. That poor old lady. She didn't ask for that at 9 a.m. So... I got to tell you about everybody, we always, like, how do I put it? We always skirt around, like, what we're, where I work, right? Yeah. We just say the camera store. I think so, I dropped it once. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people who listen know. Yeah. Because <laughs> we used to work with them. Exactly. Fine. So, like, I work at Henry's Camera Store. <gasps> yes. What? No, I, I am not a representative of... Of Henry's on this podcast. Yes. Okay. Not, nothing so we say. So we are is... not affiliated in any way, shape, or form. I just work at Henry's. Yes. Well, we sell the extended life plan, the Henry's extended life plan, the help. And like anything with the basically with the serial number, you could get the extended life plan on. You could add two years or three years. Yeah. So I got that on. Well, I get that on everything I have. And I got it on my GoPro. Yeah. So my original GoPro. Yep. Um, still works great and everything. But when I plug it into the computer, it glitches. And so with the GoPro quick app, once you plug it in, it recognizes the GoPro. Then you press download and it downloads all the the videos right yeah yeah with this gopro i plug it in and the app just starts sort of flickering and it starts downloading automatically and it'll download each file between five and ten times and then after like an hour hour and a half it gives an error report saying unable to download media what the fuck okay yeah so i went in and talked to Jordan about it and he's like that's covered we could send it off to GoPro and I'm like no it's over the one year it's like on the help thing and he's like mm-hmm. oh so you get a new GoPro oh see it's always been blurry with GoPro from what I remember because when it's in the first year usually they'll you send it off yeah. and then they're like oh get a new one yeah <laughs> But you have to send it out first, yeah. usually. But now, because it's over a year... Has it always been like that? Yeah. with Especially with GoPros? Well, yeah, because when I, when I worked there... Spoiler alert, I also worked there. <laughs> in case nobody pieced that together. We're literally, we were literally co-workers. Also, it's really weird to refer to that in past tense. You're still my co-worker. In my, well, I call you my buddy now instead of my co... Like, oh, I'm a buddy? Yeah, I'm like, oh, my buddy. <laughs> People hear that and they think... They, I think they picture, like, a female my age. <laughs> I'm like, watch the podcast. And I'm like, with Chuck here. It's a great dynamic. Um, but, 
was I saying? Oh yeah, when I when I worked there, um, and I'd be selling a GoPro, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, we we'd have to bring up the plan because it's it's something that people need to be educated on. If you're yeah. spending a lot of money on gear, it's different than buying a fucking TV from Best Buy. Exactly. Yeah. Henry's is not paying us to talk about it. Exactly. <laughs> I wish. Um, <laughs> um, so every time I tell a GoPro, I'd be like, "Listen, like, listen up. <laughs> if you're getting a GoPro, the GoPro Eight is how much? Six hundred ish? No, no, it's down to like four hundred. Where have I been? Uh, Not in the camera store. No, you're at the shoe store. <laughs> Ask me about a pair of shoes. I still know nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I. Okay, back when it came out, the GoPro Eight. Let's yeah, say, okay, like, let's say someone got a nine. A nine is like 600, 700. 600, yeah. yeah. It's like if you're spending $600 on a piece of gear that is this big, do you think it's going to be repairable? Yeah. Like, obviously didn't say this, but like, it's it's basically non-repairable. You just get a straight up replacement. Yeah. And for however much it is, probably a little over 100. Why wouldn't you just do that instead of having to buy another one? Exactly. It makes no... When people would be like, oh, I'll just get another one. I'm like, do you want to throw money away? It makes no sense. It's like, oh, if you're going to just buy another one when this one breaks, make sure you come and see me. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'll take that sale. Yeah, for sure. I'll take it. (laughs) But because because I paid $469 for the GoPro... $69. (laughs) For the GoPro Hero 8, (laughs) the GoPro Hero 9 is on sale. How much is it on sale for? I can't remember, but I'm I'm hardly paying anything for the GoPro Hero Nine. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh wait, are you getting a nine? I'm getting a nine. What the fuck? You left that out. <laughs> That's so exciting. <clears throat> the because GoPro Nine is so co- the eight is really cool too, but the nine is like fucking breaking technology, <laughs> news breaking technology, not breaking technology. That's your eight. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I'm getting my uh, nine today. So. That's exciting. Yes. Wow. You picking yeah. it up at work today? Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? So was the eight just like a software issue? Yeah, some sort of like software when you get issue. A phone and the software just outruns the. Yeah. Hmm. So, but my other Hero Eight. Does that mean if your other Hero Eight conks out, you get another nine? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Or maybe the ten comes out. When I was leaving. You know how I made, like, a gear list mm-hmm. before I even, like, put my two weeks in? Yeah. <laughs> Started a gear list. I'm so sad, first of all, that I didn't get actual gear. Yes. So I was like, that's expensive. Now I'm looking back at it, and I was like, it's expensive, but I... I'm never going to get it for that price again. Yeah. And also, like, it's just... It's it, it's worth it for what I'd be using it for. So one of them was a macro lens. The other one I was toying with a lot was a GoPro. And I'd always be like, I don't need it. I'm not active. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, you know what? I'm not that I'm not that inactive. I just don't go outside. <laughs> I like to go for walks. It's just... When we lived in St. Catharines, I was a lot more active. We'd hike and do a bunch more stuff. Um, so I blame Ottawa. <laughs> <laughs> But I wanted a GoPro really bad. I'm I'm sad that I didn't get one. Yeah. Because I know the plan. They a lot of the time they just replace it within the first year. But now it's good to know they do it two or three years after too. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. And the funny thing is, like so many people crap on GoPro. Yeah. And yeah, they can be a bit glitchy, and everything. But if you get that extended life plan. Yeah. Like. But you know what? It's golden for you know four what? years. People. People shit on Google. Google. <laughs> they do. Um, people shit on GoPro, but nobody shits on DJI. Yeah. And they deserve, no offense to anyone who is, loves DJI, but DJI deserves to be shit on. Yeah. They are terrible for customer service. Yep. For people who actually have issues with their with their drones, they're just shit out a lot, yep. usually. Yeah, well, with DJI, we've stopped offering... Yeah extended life plan because DJI is so hard to deal with Mm -hmm. so like if you buy a drone we don't sell the extended life plan with it yeah it's hard to find drones period yeah even with the Osmo like the Osmo pocket Mm, stuff I don't even stuff yeah Yeah. that's your shit out of luck with that too yeah so camera gossip yes when I left I didn't forget what I got you know what actually I don't forget what I got because I went into I have like 
an art space, I'll send you a picture that you can put up. Okay. Because it, it won't make, I'm not sure if it'll make much sense when I explain it. You know those Ikea shelves that are like standing up and then there's four? They're just like the skinny ones? Yes, but like one section. Okay, yeah. Um, I have one of those in my like little office alcove that's just off of the living room, mm -hmm. um, turned sideways so it's on the floor. It's about this tall. Okay. And then I have like a pillow because I sit there and paint. Um, so I have these. I'm not sure why I'm setting the scene so well. <laughs> <laughs> I have these little wicker baskets in the middle two cubbies. Right. And one of them I just throw my camera shit in. Okay. So I have like I have lenses in protective cases. I don't just throw lenses in there. <laughs> I have lenses, I have like hard drives, I have memory cards and cases, I have like a bunch of shit, everything. So one of them is makeup and it's super light, and then the other one you pull out and you're like, oh my god, it's just fucking full of gear. <laughs> um, and I, I pulled it out to grab something for my computer the other day, and I forgot all this gear I got from Henry's because I bought it, mm -hmm. like when I was leaving, and just put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I forgot I got one of those RGB lights, the magnetic ones, because why the hell not? Yeah, did you get the round one? Yep. Oh, man. I completely forgot I got it. Oh, my God. And I was like, I don't know why I got it, but I got it. And then I also got the panel with the little... Okay, yeah. I like how you know what I'm talking about. Yes. It's like the LP... Is it the 308? Yeah, I think so. I got so. the bicolored yeah. one. Oh, cool. Okay. So, just for, like, filming and taking, pic like, documenting stuff, but... I completely forgot I got those. Man. And then I completely forgot I had hidden it because it took up too much space. I completely forgot that my dad got a fucking gimbal. <laughs> <laughs> the man... I love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, all Thank the way, you. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> story. Story time. Do you have anything to say before I go in to this? No, no. I dive go, in? go nuts. So, story time. My dad went to go check out a venue for us yesterday. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to go with it. It was just a little, like, hall in Niagara yeah. Falls. And it's new, so I hadn't been in. So we went to go take pictures. And I asked him to bring his Z7 because the Z cameras, with it being mirrorless, have very accurate lighting. Yeah. And I was like, I need to see what the lighting in here looks like. <laughs> so he brings it. And then I call him two hours after he had been there. And I was like, did you go? And he's like, yeah. He's like, I can't fucking figure out my camera. I'm like, what? Did you take the pictures? And he's like, yeah, I can't get them. Snapbridge isn't working. It's like, Dad, have you updated your camera? And he's like, no, you did that for me in December. Oh, my God. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I even did it for him in December. I think we talked about me doing it for him in December. Okay. I don't think it's been updated once. Okay. And then I suddenly realized the terrible mix of giving my father a mirrorless camera who doesn't understand how to use computers <laughs> or update his fucking camera so anyways i got the pictures as a cell phone picture of the back of the camera <laughs> yeah i love it i'm so glad he went and took pictures but i was just like this hurts so much and it sucks because I'm because because of COVID, I haven't been able to go home as much because I was always like when he first got it, I was like, you're gonna need to update that because it, yeah. it, with the Z cameras and with a lot of cameras, just my experience with the Nikon Z cameras, when something needs updating, things will stop working. Yeah, it's not like something that you can just kind of put off. It's something that needs to be done at some point. Exactly. Yeah. I don't even think he has the update for CF Express yet. Really? Oh my god. Okay. He uses an XQD and he... Actually, I got him a reader. Why didn't he just send me it from the fucking... Because he doesn't know how to take the card out of the camera. <laughs> I've been telling him to get a new laptop, too, or, like, an iPad or something. Because he's like, can you teach me how to use Lightroom? I'm like, I can, but you need a color-accurate screen first. Yeah. And he uses this, like, little HP laptop. I'm shitting on my dad. I'm not. I'm not meaning yeah. to. <laughs> happy Father's Day. This is him. our Happy Father's Day episode. My Uncle Steve is watching. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, I think he was with him yesterday when I was calling him. And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, it's because it's Nikon. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I can't do this. But, yeah, with being six hours away and not anticipating a global pandemic, I was like, shouldn't be an issue. Sorry. That's <laughs> okay. It's like, shouldn't be an issue. You can just, like, I'll just come home and update it for you every couple months. Yeah. I haven't been home in, like, well, I went home in April, but I didn't do it for him because I didn't see him. 
I haven't been home for a proper visit since August last year. Why did you go home in April? Because it was before the new lockdown, and I went for Easter. It was literally oh, yes, like Easter. two days. Yes, yeah, okay. It was the first time we were allowed to book time off. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I went home for like two days, so I didn't really see him. So okay. The last time I went home for more than like two days at a time yeah. was last August. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so now camera news? Yeah, what camera news did you have? Because you sent me a link and I never read it. Sorry. <laughs> that was the one megapixel Oh yeah, and then sensor. I have a story of one that I actually remember because I read it. Oh, Let me pull it. this. Oh. Glasses are filthy. You know, it really paid off being at a workplace that had microfiber cloths everywhere you walked. <laughs> and lens cleaner. Lens cleaner is the biggest thing. Uh, da, da, da. Where is it? Where the fuck did I... Gonna need to see that picture of me with the pigs at some point, too. The Ikea pigs. We'll I talk about it while I bring this up. Ikea had... We were leaving Ikea, and Chuck, poor Chuck, just wanted to get his couch and leave. Yep. <laughs> and I was like, do you want fake plants? And he said, I think you said yes as a joke. And then you lost me in the <laughs> fake plant section. And I wanted to fucking shop. I haven't been at Ikea in a long time, and I love it there. So I wanted fake plants and everything. I was taking pictures for wedding ideas, and then we passed the children's section. And the children's section is full of stuffed animals. Yeah. I love stuffed animals. I'm 26 years old. And I still love them as much as I did when I was, like, six, okay? <laughs> I had more when I was six. I wish I still had them all, but I don't. And we passed this bucket of pigs. Stuffed stuffed animal pigs, not just real pigs. Because I definitely wouldn't have left without a real pig. Um, <laughs> Chuck took a picture of me holding, like, he's, he's like, oh, I'll take a picture. And I was like, hold on. And I grabbed, like, six of them. Yeah. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> so this picture smiling. here. Let me see. Do you have it yet? Oh. Oh, you're, you're doing something else on your phone. I'm multitasking here, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that picture. We're going to post it on Instagram okay. for this episode. So, uh, SPAD sensors. S-P-A-D. Bad sensors? <laughs> from canon i'm kidding uh, uh, <laughs> da, da, da. spad sensors operate on a different on different principles compared to cmos sensors and spad sensors measure each individual light particle that reaches the pixel each photon that enters the pixel immediately gets converted into an electric charge and the electrons that results are eventually multiplied like an avalanche until they form a large single signal charge that can be extracted. Something like that. Anyways, uh, the because of that sensor, there's like no digital noise at all. You lost me. It's bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, Anyways, yeah. That's crazy. So, yeah. That's... Oh. What will they do next? I say yeah. this every fucking episode. <laughs> what will they do next? Oh, now talking about the future. Nikon coming out with an APS-C censored oh. camera retro. <laughs> well, we talked we talked about this already. Yeah, but that like now we have pictures of it and everything. Yeah, I know, I know. I saw the pictures and I was like, oh fuck, sorry, Fuji. <laughs> yeah, that thing looks sweet. I think I think if I were to get like a street photography camera, like just one that I bring when I go like hang out with friends and stuff, because I love my Z6, but I'm not fucking lugging that thing around. <laughs> so everybody's like, oh. Um, it's so tempting to add to the Nikon lineup. Yeah. To like put it next to the F and my Z6 and just. Uh. See, I am. I don't hate Nikon as much as I no. make everyone think. I fucking love Nikon. And now there's also the leaked images of the. Well, not leaked. The images of the Olympus. Someone leaked Olympus's nudes? Yeah. <laughs> That pen. Oh, yeah. EP7. That one's really nice, too. It's nice, yeah. We'll put a picture of it up God, here. God, why are there so many nice, like, 
Silver yeah. and black cameras. Fuck. Yeah. Now I have to pick between. Do I get an Olympus? <laughs> He's like, what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> so I gotta tell you this now because fucking Olympus is dunder bullshit. Like, there's no Olympus representation in Canada. Um, there's no. Like, we haven't heard anything from Olympus since they sold. Yeah, I guess not. So, I, when I say we, I mean Henry's. Okay. Okay, we haven't heard anything from Olympus since they yeah. sold. We've contacted them and everything, and there's like, same things happening with Best Buy. Like, Olympus has fallen off the face of the planet in North America. North America oh. altogether, or just Canada? I found this on the web. <laughs> what the She's fuck? She's like, Google felt like she had something to contribute to yeah. our conversation. No, that was Siri, actually. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, sorry. So, yeah, not North America. It'd be Canada. Because you can still buy stuff off the Olympus USA website. Yeah, it just sucks that they're... Anyways, like, I've, I have to bring my my Olympus kit in to work today because a lady came in yesterday and she wanted an Olympus mm -hmm. so she played with the EM5 that we had that was open open box Yeah. and I was like I'll bring in my EM1 because you have a grip on the EM1 Yeah. and she's like I'm used to Nikon and, da, 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 da. and it's like yeah well, I'll bring in my camera so you could actually hold it yeah like Olympus, people are still wanting your stuff. Yeah, like they shouldn't have. So, like, come back to Canada. Like, we are still trying to sell your stuff. I'm having to, instead of selling them on at our store, I'm telling people if you want Olympus, go on the Olympus website and yeah, buy it. Like, like it's my ridiculous. Last, my last couple of weeks, I remember talking to someone on the phone and they wanted to buy, and I was like, I don't know how you can get it anymore. And then I just passed her off to you, and you were like, Okay, go to this website, do this, and she had to buy it from the U.S. website. Yep. Yeah, and that's it's when ridiculous. Your lens was still in motion or whatever. Yeah, I was still waiting for it. Yeah, yeah. it was in like Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. The other thing is not quite camera camera news. Um, camera ish. Camera ish. Because we're sometimes into phones. Leica is releasing their own phone. Yeah. Um, I think right now I can't I can't remember if it's right now that they already have it or if it's just coming out shortly. Um, it's in Japan right now. Japan only. Only. Yeah, and it's not. Doesn't look like it's going to be worldwide. It's just going to be in Japan. Which is fucking it stupid. It's fucking great. Yeah. Um, so, Leica, Leica does some... They, they still do some things on their own, but majority of the time they team up with people. Yeah. So, Leica yeah. has teamed up... Was it Huawei? Huawei? Whatever that fucking phone was? I think so, yeah. That they put a, they put some Leica glass in it, and that was like the selling feature of the Huawei. Huawei. Yeah. Oh, fuck that you say that. And then, you know... It, breaching confidentiality on the phone. <laughs> Put that one down the hall. Yeah. Because um, I really wanted that phone just because it had like a glass in it and a, like a camera. So this is actually Leica doing their own phone. Yeah. Which is really neat. It's not they're teaming up with anyone else who's making the phone or going under a different name. It's a Leica phone. Yeah. The camera on it looks insane. It has a magnetic lens cap. Yeah. <laughs> which is so cool. Yeah, but you're just gonna, you're going to lose it anyways. I know. I like, know. Especially you. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a 20 megapixel. It's, oh, sorry, I'm remembering all these things from the article now. I didn't know how to sort them. It's all coming out at once. Um, <laughs> like a blue. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, they have... I'm wondering if they're going to have cases, but another big thing about this is it has a one-inch sensor. Yes. Which is fucking huge for a phone. Yeah. That is huge. People go and buy one-inch sensor, like, point-and-shoots to use as travel cameras, and yeah. the fact that they're putting this in a phone, fucking exciting. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Now, if only they can figure out Zoom on a phone. Oh yeah, that would yeah. be. It's like that lady we saw when we went. We when we were. Uh, you didn't see her. I did. I think you missed it. You didn't notice it. We, when we went to Mud Lake. Yeah. Um. Just before IKEA, we did like a full. It was like an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Well, 
Two hours. We two were hours. Yep. It was cool. Did you... Sorry, I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> that thought is being saved for later. Okay. There was a lady that we walked past on our way onto the next trail right before we saw that butterfly. Yeah. And she was standing there, and I noticed something really weird. I thought she had, like, a spotting scope. Oh, And yes, she was just yeah. holding it, and I'm not even kidding. She had... How many inches is this? Uh, six inches, maybe? Like... A long lens, and it's like a skinny little one. Yep. And she was holding it up to her eye, and as we passed, I don't think you saw it. I noticed it was attached to a phone. Yeah. And I was like, "Pardon me, <laughs> that's cool. I like that she found something that works for her." Yeah, but the quality shame, on those is. Yeah, I don't want to shame people who who use phones for photography, but I do at the same time because just get a camera. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's like if you're doing like a, a landscape shop or something like that, or. Like, even portraits. You can do portraits with a, a cell phone. Yeah, you can do it's some a, cool stuff with cell yeah, phones. As soon as you try and zoom in on anything, it all falls apart. So... I don't know. That one-inch sensor on the Leica phone might change that a little. Yeah, I don't think so. A little bit. You might be able to zoom in a little more without losing as much. Yeah, I don't think the so. the size of the sensor? No? No. Okay. It's the, the, the lens. Right? Because that lens will only give you... A, a certain because it doesn't move yeah right so like with the uh with the iphone when you do the two times it switches to a different lens yeah and if you zoom in on that it's a digital zoom yeah right yeah. it's so not it pixelates optimal. like no tomorrow i think the way i was thinking it in my head was just maybe the sensor would save the pixels a little bit if that makes any sense, but that makes zero sense. So never mind. Yeah, no, um, drugs killed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How rude. Um, the other thought that I put aside for a second, I really hope I don't forget it right now. Um, did you get the footage off the GoPro of those ducks? I didn't even look at the footage from... We should put it in at some point if you want. Yeah. Or we could just put it on Instagram. We, when we went to Mud Lake, Chuck and I sat there for a little, well, Chuck and I, I'm literally talking to you. Yes. <laughs> Chuck and I, <laughs> I don't know who you are, sir. Um, we, we sat at this lake, like this po portion of the water with rocks and the ducks were so friendly. Oh yeah. And there yep. were like two litters of baby wood ducks. Yep. And they were so comfortable with getting close to us that I put the GoPro down and they sat, like, directly in front of it yeah. and did the cutest shit in the world. So I hope that you can get that off the GoPro yeah. without it being fucked. Well, no, the, you know, all the files are, are great. Oh, okay, it's just it the just, GoPro app thing. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't the app. It's... Anyways. It's, it's the software on the GoPro. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, maybe we can put that somewhere. It was really cute. Yeah, we'll put... Well. We'll put a little bit right there. Oh, look how cute he is. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I think, back to the Ikea pig thing, I think we need an Ikea stuffed animal as a mascot. Okay. For Hank the couch. <laughs> <laughs> so Hank's not lonely. Oh, poor Hank. I'll we'll have to get one of those ears. <laughs> Sue's like, you got to put some pillows. And it's like, I'm... Gotta get those ear pillows. I'm tucked in here beautifully, and I, I no, I'm not, I don't want no fucking pillow here. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, they had these ear pillows. Those are fucking weird. We need them. I'm sorry we need them. They're so <laughs> weird. Ikea had these pillows that were like... Well, they were like stuffed animal pillow things. I don't know what they were in the kids' section. And they were green. Yeah, they were like giant ears. And like a dark ears. blue. And they look like giant ears. We could get them and put them on either side of the couch so Hank has ears. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> we they were, on, they were only five bucks. They were on sale. I'll and order we could them. get a couple of eyeballs. <laughs> Can we please? I would actually love this. Let us know in the comments if you want Hank to have a face and ears. Well, we need a stuffed eyeball with two stuffed I can eyeballs. Find that. Halloween is coming. Yes, and then we'll get, give Hank some lips. <laughs> we could put it on the. F I don't know. Yeah. We need to get him an eyeball, maybe two. Two eyeballs. Or we could just get glasses. Or if we could, if we could find one eyeball, we could just put a patch. <laughs> This is getting so in depth. <laughs> Hank is the mascot for the. Yeah. Hank is the couch. <laughs> Thank God Chuck the gnome is gone. <laughs> Where is he? 
He's around. He's around. Did right you put him the, in the fucking oh, garbage? Wait, no. Where did he go? Find oh, him. there he is, up top, in the uh, first cubby hole. Oh, he's so lonely. <laughs> I bought another one of those. <laughs> did you really? <laughs> I thought that one was just gonna stay here forever. You can have them. Thank <laughs> it's you. It's my gift to you. <laughs> Um, Chuck the gnome, but I saw the another gnome and it was creepy. And the way that they paint the mushroom, I'll take a picture and send it to you. You can add it in here. Okay. Um, the way that they paint the, they don't paint the mushroom. So the mushroom is the same tone as his skin, and it legit looks like a penis. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I have the original picture of him. Yeah. That I am sure we have put on the oh, podcast yes. before, and it looked exactly the same. Like he's yeah. just sitting there with this giant penis in front of himself. <laughs> like oh my god chuck the gnome put it away yeah <laughs> it kind of it yeah. i mean you really have to think of, think but it looks weird <laughs> you know like a skin colored mushroom in between his legs like <laughs> you're really making the children in china paint this so I'm oh gonna you're do making all one. the men around the world jealous too because it's huge <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a gnome treat i guess yeah <laughs> Yeah, they don't have all the other gnomes. When I got that gnome, you know how it was like there were fucking gnomes everywhere? Yeah. They don't have other gnomes. No. Only those gnomes. I'm outraged. I'm going to cause a riot. <laughs> Bring back the gnomes. <laughs> Justice for gnomes. Alrighty. I think that's it, eh? Yeah. That's probably it. Yeah. We'll shut up so you guys can... Yeah, we're trying to... We're going to try and make these a bit shorter, too. Because he was complaining they're, they're a bit long. So. They are a bit long. Yeah. Try and get them back down to half an hour. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> no <Yeah>. promises. <laughs> With my uh, 10 stories at a time. No. Well, it's like, well, Peter McKinnon does the Two Minute Tuesdays, or he did Two Minute Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah. And I love those. I find them too short, though. Really? I love sitting down for like a 15 minute plus YouTube video. But he's like, T time for Two Minute Tuesday. And he puts the timer on, and like two minutes hit, and he's like, "Yeah, we're not sticking with two minutes." Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it usually goes on for like five minutes yeah, or something like that. Yeah, so. yeah, we'll try to make these a little shorter for y'all. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for episode thirty-one. Yep, I left that. Photo chat. Toodaloo, motherfuckers. We switched it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs>